So this person asked if I have any advice for leading a horse through a gate. I love this question because it's something that seems so kind of normal, right? And routine that a lot of people might think, like might look at this comment and think like, well, how can you not know how to lead your horse through a gate? This is so important because you teach your horse so much by the way that you do things with them, especially going through a gate, especially if you have a, a young horse, a pushy horse, a horse that can be a little bit obnoxious and, and forward moving, going through a gate can be very, very dangerous if not done correctly. So you really wanna take your time. In fact, one of the things that I teach my students in my Unbreakable Bond coaching program is before you even start to take a horse through a gate, you're going to send that horse through that gate first. And what that means is that you grab your lead rope, you send your horse out where you're not leading them and they're behind you and they can come over the top of you. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get them confident going back and forth through the gate on their own first. Now at first your horse might be rushing and dashing and darting through the gate, but eventually over time, if you stick with it, if you do it over and over again, they're gonna become more and more relaxed. They might take a deep breath, lower their head, lick and chew, slow down going through that gate. That shows you that you're making progress. And that's all you're looking for. Just a little bit of progress each session that you work on it. And eventually, in no time, you'll be able to lead that horse through the gate quietly and safely.